guys, I'm Ben and welcome back to episode 42 of Bucket Plugins. It's been a long time, hasn't it? A long time indeed. So, yeah, we're going to be doing more of these, more of these, more of these bucket thingies. Uh, and we're just going to start off, um, well not start off, we're going to continue where we left off by just doing some uh, advanced config sort of type things. So, today we're going to be doing about paths and loading and setting from the code. So, as you can see, I've just set up this player locations, little class, um, uh, and every time we load then... Uh, disable the server, which is going to save the config. So, if you just want to set that up quickly, um, that's fine. We're going to be we're going to have two commands today. Uh, they're going to be that's wrong. That's not right. Uh, they're going to be uh, uh, set my location and uh, location. So, if you want to set that up, this is the path that I have. This is the name of the plugin that I'm going to be using. So yeah. Uh, we just want to make an on command, so we hit control space and then type on command, or if you're on Mac, command space, uh, or whatever you call space, and then we're going to <laughs> load this, delete some things, and call this command label, instead of label, because I prefer it. So now, if the sender is an instance of the player, and sorry if this is a bit rushed, I'm lacking on time, so player player equals player sender, uh, so if the, if the player isn't like, say, the console, then it's just going to cast it to player. And then what we're going to do is if the command label uh, is equal, uh, command, command, I put it wrong, command label dot equals, um, if it equals, set my location, then we're going to set the player's location in the file. So to do this, we get the config and we set the path that we want to set. So player dot get name plus dot x so that's going to create a new section into the um, config and so it's going to be player and then inside a the player there'll be x uh, so the dot is just a separator it splits at the dot and the x is going to be player dot get location dot get block x and that's getting the block x not the x with the you know decimals the, the actual rounded x and then we're going to do the same two more times so x y z change this to z and change this to y. We're then going to create another command label. So, actually, we're going to save the config first. Save config. Yeah. <laughs> because else it won't save and you won't have anything in it. So, else if the command label equals ignore case location, what we're going to do is we're going to create three new integers. So, int x, uh, y, and z. Okay. So, x equals get config dot. Uh, get int uh, player dot get name plus dot x. So that's going to get the integer at inside the player and then inside the uh, x part. So let's change this to y on the next one. And on z, obviously we're going to change that to z. We're then going to do player dot teleport to a new location which we're going to set up and it's going to be player dot get world uh, if you want to add the world you could just add the name and then load the world through the server which we're going to do in later tutorials but for now we're just going to do player dot get world x y and z so it's going to teleport them there okay we're then just going to obviously return uh, false return false like that so that's how that works. So basically what it's doing is if their command is set my location, it's going to go into the file and set their name's loca location uh, as it's going to give them the three uh, locations under their name, under their path name. If their command is location, it's going to get those three locations that we have saved and teleport them to it. So obviously if you haven't already, put those commands in your plugin.yml and just export your plugin.yml and I'll see you guys in the game. Alright guys, so we're back, and as you can see, in our um, in our config file here, we have bucket, which is the name of my class, and in config, actually, at the moment, we don't have anything, because we haven't told it to write to it yet. So, we haven't actually called the methods that, you know, where it's like, oh, it's just, ah, they're, they're telling me to write things, and then they write rapidly, you know, like those crazy people at, at court who are just like, must type faster, um, because they speak so fast and stuff. Yes, so anyway, um... I did the whole ham movement there, if you didn't, I'm dying of thirst. So, anyway, um, what we want to do is we want to do set my location, and it's going to not do anything, it's not going to say anything, but uh, if we actually go into our config file, you see that it's now one gigabyte, which means it has some, like, info in it. 
uh, and you'll see we have my coordinates 113 and 362 so if I you know walk over here and then I do slash location it's gonna teleport me back over here which is always nice um, you know I've always thought that I wanted to, to do that so if I check my coordinates now they're 13 7 360 and if I do set my location 13 7 360 13 7 360 and then if I you know go over here and if I don't die first if I do slash location I'm gonna be taken to 13 7 360 so thanks for watching guys next tutorial we're gonna be doing something about more advanced type of um, you know info and how to uh, get more advanced information more advanced techniques how to Basically, we're going to be looking at more uses for this and, and how it can be used better into in server integration and stuff and how we can actually act, uh, limit things to just pl one player and, and things like that. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want a private plugin, just go down into the description. There's a link where you can go and fill in a form and I can get the form and we can make private plugins and it's going to be fun. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Go watch your other videos, gaming videos. I'm back, people. And... Goodbye.